I woke up this morning and I realized just how tired I am. <laughs> I woke up this morning and I was so, so cold. Um, I'm currently wearing two hoodies, but that's okay because it's gonna change because I'm gonna put the heat on in the car and toast myself up. I have to leave now, it is seven o'clock and we're gonna get our day started. Waking up, feeling the taste of our fight last night. Good morning. So first things first, my little brother left the car, right? And my little sister's been sleeping this whole time. Good morning. <laughs> it's only 7.47, Mia. Do you want to stay in the car longer? Okay. But after this, I'm actually going to be heading to my school, going to my classes and everything. But yeah, I'm currently waiting. Good morning, sunshine. I am sitting at school in the parking lot and two things. First things first, I really need to get a haircut because my split ends are so bad to the point where like, I can't tell if it's my hair anymore. Like it's that bad. But um, I just wanted to remind all of you who are watching this to stop, drop and chug no matter how cold it is or whatever, you still need to get your water in. I've already gotten in almost like half a gallon and it's 8.35 today. So, right now stop drop chug I'm gonna head to classes and everything I have my meals that I prep are double meals so personally for me it's like really hard for me to bring a cooler to school like I obviously can do it and everything but it's a lot easier just to take my cooler leave it in my car with like all my stuff and then just come out and get it and um, if anyone is struggling with like getting their meals in their backpack and everything and having so many containers I just double up and then I eat until I'm full and then I eat again like later on just because then I can still get my macros in and everything and I did start tracking again on my fitness pal for a while I wasn't just because I was doing clean eating but I talked to my coach and I was like you know I'm gonna track my macros and track clean and do clean eating and see where I'm at so I can be a little bit more like inflexible dieting while I'm in prep but obviously like we're probably gonna have to ramp it up and just keep clean eating like he and I were talking about it. He's like, we can do it for a little bit and see how you do. Because obviously we wanna see how my body works. I don't know if I'll get footage of what I'm eating because I like to eat randomly. And if I don't get footage of my food, I hope you guys are okay with that. Just because sometimes I'll eat in classes that like you can't bring a camera out into. And so like, especially my government class, like I feel like that's so weird. Sometimes I have filmed it once. I filmed my food once in that class, but my camera makes this noise where it's like beep. So like when it comes on, you can tell and you can hear it and I don't want to get in trouble. So I will talk to you guys a little later. Oh, Caroline's with me, but basically, Okay, this camera is really dope. So a lot of people have asked me, how do you eat when you're at school and everything with the, like, your meal prep stuff? I always find a microwave at school. Teachers will hide them like wherever they can because sometimes they don't let you have a microwave, but um, every teacher has one. Get gains. He has two actually. Oh really? Yeah, he has like one back there and he has one up here, but this is what I'm eating today. But this is a double meal, guys. Don't. Don't eat all of this. This has eight ounces of chicken, six ounces of sweet potato, and a cup of broccoli. But yeah, and just so happens that this class actually isn't even in here during this hour, but then I come back during fourth hour to heat up again. So like a lot of the times people see me, and you just have to realize that like your goals are more important than anything. So, currently finished heating it up and everything. Back to my class. I just left school. I'm currently sitting in a parking lot because I think I'm gonna go get some tea at Flower Child, sit there and wait for a basket to be done because the person that I work for, he like has me do really um, 
like you know assistancy assistant like type things so right now i'm just waiting till like 4 p.m i have like an hour and a half and i really wish they had wi-fi at the place i am going to but i don't think they do so i'm just gonna embrace it and love the fact that i won't have wi-fi so yeah currently sitting outside of flower child editing a new video i'm just waiting currently like killing time and everything but i always get their mango green tea secha whatever you want to call it like it's so good but yeah i'm working on a new video currently it's like another vlog for prep life i just picked up the basket for my boss now we're gonna go head over to drop it off I'm literally oh i have to pee so badly right now mom i drank so much tea i literally am gonna pee myself Ugh. Time to pee. I'm so hungry. Hurry up. <laughs> it is currently 6.48 and I'm going to put a little more salsa on it because it didn't soak up. Can you give me a fork, mom, please? But it's going to be so delish. Look at my lovely mother with the fork. Can't wait to dig in. This looks so good. Oh my gosh, I'm going to cry. It's, my mouth's watering right now. I just spent an hour editing, but now I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm already in my gym clothing. I just needed to throw, whoa, I cannot walk right now. I'm already in my gym clothing. I just have to throw on some shoes for cardio because today's cardio and rip to my soul. All right, let's do this. It is so cold. It's beyond cold right now. Where's the button? Let's hit the card, yo. Okay, it's actually really cold right now and I'm freezing. Me currently ready to crush it. For cardio today, I did 30 minutes of LIS. LIS stands for low intensity steady state. So it was low intensity steady state cardio. Um, at this point, I had done like 28 minutes worth, and I was actually drenched because when you're in an incline and you're going kind of slow, like I was doing a 3 miles an hour or 3.5 miles an hour, but then I was doing like a 9% incline or a 9 level, level 9. The highest is like 12 or 15. So I was doing a pretty decent incline, and my calves were definitely feeling it. Then afterwards, I went and stretched because I stretched before slightly, but I was super warmed up and I wanted to like stretch my muscles out. Well, I just finished my workout. Um, I have my jacket back on, but I literally got so hot. Like it was crazy. Um, so now I'm going to my car. And basically one of the main things that I hit today was cardio. I did 30 minutes of lifts and then after those 30 minutes, I hit some biceps and triceps, but it was like nothing major. I just kind of wanted to do some lifting and I got my cardio in, so that's what matters. But yeah, I drank my entire gallon today and I'm so proud of myself because sometimes it's really hard to do that. This has been an absolutely amazing workout today. and I'm It's midnight and I'm gonna head to bed. I'm just tired and tired and tired, but um, I'm gonna head to bed. I'm taking my shoes off. I'm gonna jump in my PJs and then tomorrow morning I'm gonna hit cardio. I did finish the day off because I had enough macros for this with the Lenny and Larry's The Complete Cookie. I was really craving something sweet and uh, since I had the macros for it, I was like, you know, let's do this. That's that and I'm gonna head to bed. I love you guys all, all my heart. Talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.